I am Crawford County President Judge Anthony J. Vardaro. During his lifetime, including the time he served as President Judge from January of 1964 through August of 1990, former Crawford County President Judge P. Richard Thomas was an historian. One of his projects throughout his judicial career was to gather historical information about all of the former judges of Crawford County. When he passed away in 2011, he left a briefcase full of information he had compiled through his last service as senior judge. That briefcase indicated that the information was to be provided to the president judge sitting at the time of Judge Thomas's death. As such, I received the briefcase full of historical research from Judge Thomas's family, and the video you're about to watch is a summary of Judge Thomas's work in compiling information about each of the judges through the time of his final retirement as a senior judge. I have supplemented this research to provide an update for the two most recent judges and myself. For many of the judges, he had more information that I will be discussing, but for each, it is my hope that in sharing Judge Thomas's work, you will have an opportunity to at least learn a little bit about each of the judges who has served Crawford County. Often when Judge Thomas was sitting with jurors, during a break, point to the portrait of the various judges in courtroom one of the Crawford County Courthouse and give a brief history of some of the judges based on his research. As this video was produced in August of 2018, it is the first time all of Judge Thomas's work has been presented essentially in its entirety. I think you will find the information both interesting and educational. All of the portraits that are shown were present in the Crawford County Courthouse until the court moved to the Crawford County Judicial Center in August of 2017. The first session of court in Crawford County was convened in July of 1800 with the associate judges David Mead and John Kelso presiding. Both of those judges were not law trained but served as associate judges for a district including Crawford, Mercer, Venango, Warren, and Erie counties. Essentially it appears that they were the equivalent of magisterial district judges today and were not required to be law trained. President Judge Alexander Addison was the first law judge to serve Crawford County. He was born in Scotland in 1758 and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Aberdeen in 1775, continuing to receive a Master of Arts in 1777. When he came to America in 1785, he had been admitted into the Presbyterian ministry. Because he was not fully accepted as a Presbyterian minister in western Pennsylvania, he abandoned the ministry and became a law student and was admitted to the Washington County, Pennsylvania Bar in 1787. In 1791, the governor of Pennsylvania commissioned him to be president judge of the 5th Judicial District, which at the time included Allegheny, Fayette, Washington, and Westmoreland counties. Ultimately, the judicial district expanded to cover nearly all the counties of western Pennsylvania, including the addition of Crawford County in 1800. Judge Addison was a Federalist in politics and, and supported the administrations of George Washington and John Adams. When Thomas Jefferson was elected president over John Adams in 1800, the same party had also carried Pennsylvania, electing a new governor in 1799. Ultimately, the Republican Party set about both nationally and in Pennsylvania to impeach Federalist judges. Although their success was limited, Judge Addison was impeached by a vote in the Pennsylvania Senate of 20 to 4 and was removed from office on January 27, 1803, having served Crawford County for less than three years. Judge Addison returned to the practice of law in the Pittsburgh area and died on November 24, 1807, at 49 years of age. There is no known portrait of Judge Addison in Crawford County, but a portrait of him appears on the Wikipedia website. When the impeachment of Judge Addison was being considered by the legislature, a special five-man committee was appointed to draft articles of impeachment. One of the members of that committee was Jesse Moore. Jesse Moore was born in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania in 1766. He practiced law in Pittsburgh. After the impeachment of Judge Addison, on April 2, 1803, the Pennsylvania legislature created the 6th Judicial District, comprising the counties of Butler, Beaver, Mercer, Warren, Erie, and Crawford. Three days later, the governor of Pennsylvania appointed Jesse Moore as the president judge of the new 6th Judicial District. 
Judge Moore was only 37 years of age at the time of his appointment, but served 21 years and eight months until he died suddenly in office on December 1st of 1824 at 59 years of age. His service was the longest of any judge in Crawford County until President Judge P. Richard Thomas's tenure as an elected judge. The biographers of Judge Moore described him as a dignified and courteous man and learned in the law but not brilliant. He was also characterized as having stern integrity and was free from prejudice in his work on the bench. Following the death of Judge Moore, Henry Shippen was appointed President Judge of the 6th Judicial District in January of 1825. Judge Shippen was born in Lancaster County in 1788, graduated from Dickinson College in 1808, and after reading law in the offices of Judge Hopkins in Lancaster, was admitted to the Lancaster County Bar Association in 1811. He later moved to Huntington, Pennsylvania. Upon his appointment, Judge Shippen immediately moved to Meadville. He was 36 years of age when he was appointed and served for 14 years and two months until his death in 1839 at age 50. Judge Shippen served as a captain in the War of 1812 and 15th President of the United States James Buchanan was a private in his company. President Buchanan served as a groomsman at Judge Shippen's wedding. Judge Shippen was known to view everything thoughtfully and spoke with reflection and deliberation with sound judgment. The house that was constructed for him and his family in 1838 later served as the Red Cross building and still stands at the northeast corner of the intersection of Chestnut Street and Liberty Street in Meadville. Judge Shippen is buried in Greendale Cemetery and there is no known portrait of him. Upon the death of Judge Shippen, Nathaniel B. Eldred was appointed President Judge of the 6th Judicial District on March 23, 1839. Judge Eldred was born in Orange County, New York in 1795 and educated in the public schools of New York State until he moved to Milford, Pennsylvania, the county seat of Wayne County. He was admitted to the Wayne County Bar Association in 1817. Judge Eldred had the unique distinction of serving as president judge in four different judicial districts. In 1835, he was appointed president judge in the 18th Judicial District, comprised of McKean, Warren, and Jefferson counties. After his service as president judge of the 6th Judicial District from his appointment in 1839 until 1843, he was then appointed to serve as president judge in the 12th Judicial District comprised of Dolphin, Lebanon, and Schuylkill counties. Finally, in 1849, when Wayne, Pike, Monroe, and Carbon counties were joined as the 22nd Judicial District, Judge Eldred persuaded the governor to appoint him as president judge in that newly created district. Beginning in 1850, the Pennsylvania Constitution required the election of judges, and Judge Eldred ran in the 22nd District and was elected in 1851. After serving two years, he resigned to accept an appointment by President Franklin Pierce to serve in the U.S. Custom House in Philadelphia. As a member of the judiciary, Judge Eldred was known as listening carefully and being fair in his decisions. Judge Eldred died in 1867 in Philadelphia at age 72. At the time Judge Eldred was serving Crawford County, because of a backlog of civil cases, the Pennsylvania Legislature created a special district court for the 6th Judicial District, giving it concurrent jurisdiction in civil cases with the Court of Common Pleas. That existed for only six years and was served throughout that time by District Judge James Thompson. Judge Thompson was born in Butler, Pennsylvania in 1806 and spent his early life learning the printing trade. He moved to Contanning, Pennsylvania in 1826 to work at the Contanning Gazette, but also devoted time to a law clerkship. He was admitted to the Armstrong County Bar in 1828 and practiced for a short period of time before moving to Franklin, Pennsylvania, where he was admitted in 1829. In 1832, he was elected to the Pennsylvania Legislature and re-elected twice, ultimately serving as Speaker of the House. During his six-year tenure on the Special District Court from 1838 to 1844, he was well-liked by members of the Bar Association. He later served on the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania for 15 years, beginning in 1857. During the last five years of his service on that court, he was Chief Justice. Judge Thompson passed away in Philadelphia in 1874. 
There is no known portrait of him in Crawford County. Upon the completion of Judge Nathaniel B. Eldred's time on the Court of Common Pleas in 1843, President Judge Gaylord Church was appointed to fill the position for the 6th Judicial District. When Judge Church was appointed, he was 31 years of age and continues to be the youngest judge to serve Crawford County. Judge Church was born in Oswego, New York in 1811, but later moved to Mercer County, Pennsylvania, where he attended the Mercer Academy and later studied law. He was admitted to practice at Mercer County in 1834 and moved to Meadville that same year. He was thereafter appointed Deputy Attorney General of the Crawford County District, which was comparable to the current District Attorney's position, and later was elected to the legislature for two terms. He served as President and Judge until October of 1851. In late 1858, he was appointed as a Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania to fill a term that was caused by the vacancy through the death of one of the justices. Judge Church had the distinction of being the first president judge appointed in the 6th Judicial District who was a bona fide resident of Crawford County at the time of his appointment. He died in Meadville in 1869 at age 58. Judge Church was succeeded by John Galbraith who was the first elected president judge of the 6th Judicial District in 1851. Judge Galbraith was born in Huntington, Pennsylvania in 1794, a son of a Revolutionary War soldier. His family moved to Butler County in 1796, where he studied law and was admitted to the bar in 1818. He later moved to Franklin, Pennsylvania and was elected to the Pennsylvania Legislature for four terms in the United States Congress in 1832 and 1834, before moving to Erie, where he was again elected to Congress. John Galbraith, during his congressional tenure, developed a close relationship with Presidents Andrew Jackson and Martin Van Buren. His son, William Ayers Galbraith, was educated at Allegheny College and became a judge in Erie County in 1876, serving for 10 years. Judge Galbraith served as President Judge of the 6th Judicial District until his death in Erie, Pennsylvania at age 66 in 1860. In 1856, an additional 10-year judgeship was created to hold special sessions in the 6th Judicial District. During the second 10-year period, Crawford County was detached from the 6th Judicial District and became the 30th Judicial District on December 18, 1870. To this day, Crawford County remains the 30th Judicial District. The first judge to fill the additional 10-year judgeship was Judge David Derrickson. Judge Derrickson was born in 1798 in Cumberland County. He was admitted to practice law in Crawford County in November of 1823 and served as Deputy Attorney General for Crawford, Venango, and Warren Counties. His tenure as an additional law judge of the 6th Judicial District spanned from 1856 until 1866. He passed away in Meadville in 1884 at age 85. Judge Derrickson was succeeded by Judge John P. Vincent as an additional law judge. Judge Vincent served as an additional law judge commencing in 1866. While he completed a 10-year term, he only served Crawford County until December of 1870 when Crawford County was detached from the 6th Judicial District and became the 30th Judicial District. Judge Vincent was born at Waterford, Pennsylvania in 1817 and was educated at the Waterford Academy. He then taught school and ultimately studied law, being admitted to the Erie County Bar in 1841. He served in the House of Representatives in 1862 and 1863 until he was elected the additional law judge for the 6th Judicial District. He passed away in Erie County in 1905 at age 88. A photo of Judge Vincent appears in a book known as The History of Erie County. When Judge Galbraith passed away, Judge Razalus Brown was appointed president judge in 1860 to fill the vacancy in the 6th Judicial District. Judge Brown was born in Brownsville, New York in 1812 and graduated from Union College in 1836. He moved to Warren, Pennsylvania and served as the first principal of Warren Academy. He studied law and was admitted to practice in 1839. 
1856, he ran against David Derrickson for the position of an additional law judge for the 6th Judicial District, but was defeated by Judge Derrickson. Following his appointment as president judge, he was defeated for election in the election of 1860 and therefore served only five months and four days as president judge, the shortest period of any of the judges of Crawford County. He ran again for president judge in 1870 and 1880, but was unsuccessful in both campaigns. He did serve a term in the legislature and was elected a member of the Constitutional Convention of 1873. During his short tenure on the bench, Judge Brown was regarded as an able judge and highly respected in his later years as a lawyer, particularly involved in railroad law, including as a director and special counsel of many railroads. Judge Brown died in Warren, Pennsylvania in 1895 at age 82. His photo appears in the history of Warren County and in the history of northwestern Pennsylvania. President Judge Samuel P. Johnson defeated his former law partner, Razzalus Brown, in the election of 1860 and served a 10-year term as President Judge of the 6th Judicial District. He was born in Venango County in 1809 and was a lineal descendant of England's famous Oliver Cromwell. He graduated from Jefferson College and studied law in Danville, Pennsylvania under Judge R.C. Greyer, who later became a Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. Upon his admission to the practice of law, he moved to Franklin, Pennsylvania. Judge Johnson was known as being devoted to his profession and spending endless hours doing community service. He was a lifelong friend and provided counsel to Seneca War Chief Corn Planter and his son, serving them without compensation for over 50 years. Judge Johnson passed away in 1893 in Warren, Pennsylvania at age 84. President Judge Walter H. Lowry was the first judge elected from the 30th Judicial District comprising only Crawford County. Judge Lowry was born in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania in 1807 and graduated at Western University of Pennsylvania, now the University of Pittsburgh, in 1836. He received a Doctor of Laws degree from Washington College and was admitted to practice in Allegheny County. In 1846, he was appointed by the governor of Pennsylvania to be a judge on the District Court of Allegheny County, and in 1851, he was elected Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania for a 12-year term. In 1857, he was commissioned as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania for a six-year term, which ended in 1863. He later resumed the practice of law in Philadelphia. While he had already served as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, Lowry ran and was successful in being elected President Judge of the newly created 30th Judicial District in 1870. Judge Lowry was living in Philadelphia when he was nominated for the Crawford County position and ran against Joshua Douglas, who was considered to be one of the giants of the Crawford County Bar Association. Douglas had carried the primary over two other candidates. The election was bitter with charges that the primary was rigged by Douglas in his favor and counter charges that Lowry was a carpetbagger who would spend most of his salary in Philadelphia and only appear in Meadville for court terms. While prominent citizens and attorneys backed the candidate of their choice, three days before the election, the Crawford County Democrat newspaper printed a letter authored by Supreme Court Judge William Strong extolling Lowry's virtues and qualifications for the judiciary. Ultimately, Lowry's win of the election was by a small margin over Douglas, and he was the only Democrat elected as a Republican swept the Senate, Congress, and other offices. After his election, Judge Lowry took up residence in Meadville and built a house at the corner of North Grant and Randolph Street. He served almost six years before suffering a heart attack at age 69 and passing away. Upon the death of Judge Lowry, President Judge S. Newton Pettis was appointed in late December of 1876 to fill the vacancy until the next election in 1877. Judge Pettis was born in 1827 in Lenox, Ashtabula County, Ohio. He taught in the public schools in Ashtabula County from 1842 to 1845 and began studying law in 1846. He came to Meadville and completed his legal studies, being admitted to the bar in late 1848. He practiced with District Judge James Thompson, who was also later the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. 
Judge Pettus was active in politics and was particularly influential in the nomination of Abraham Lincoln for president in 1860. After his election, President Lincoln appointed Pettus to be one of the judges of the United States Court for the Territory of Colorado, but after serving three years, he resigned the position and returned to Meadville to practice law. In 1869, Judge Pettus was elected to Congress to fill a vacancy, but was defeated in his election bid. He was then appointed by President Rutherford Hayes to be the United States Minister to Bolivia. After performing those duties for several years, he returned to Meadville to resume the practice of law. After his appointment as President and Judge of the Court of Common Pleas of Crawford County in 1876, he was unsuccessful in the Republican primary in June of 1877, losing by 281 votes to John J. Henderson. Thus, his service on the bench in Crawford County was just over one year. Judge Pettus died in Washington, D.C. in December of 1900. In the judicial election of 1877, Pearson Church defeated John J. Henderson by 45 votes to become president judge. Judge Church was born in Mercer County, Pennsylvania in March of 1838, a son of former 6th Judicial District Judge Gaylord Church. They are, in fact, to date, the only father and son to serve as judges in Crawford County. Judge Church entered Allegheny College in 1853 and graduated in 1858. He was admitted to the bar of Crawford County that same year at age 20, having completed a concurrent study of law with his father. Judge Church was best known for his decision in which he concluded that the Pennsylvania General Election Act of 1854 was unconstitutional under the United States Constitution. That act required school districts to maintain and operate a separate school for African American children if there were more than 20 such children in the district. An African American gentleman attempted to enroll his children in the school nearest to his home, which was designated for white children only. Judge Church's decision required the school to enroll the children in the school in which their father wished for them to be enrolled. As a result of that decision handed down in 1881, the 1854 state law was quickly amended to prohibit segregation throughout the schools of the Commonwealth. Judge Church ran for re-election in 1887 and was defeated. He died in Meadville in 1898 at age 60. Judge Church was defeated by John J. Henderson, who he had defeated in the general election of 1877. President Judge Henderson was born in 1843 in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania. He completed his education at the Meadville Academy in Allegheny College and studied law in Meadville with his brother after serving in the military from 1862 until June of 1865. He was admitted to the Crawford County Bar Association in August of 1867 and in 1872 was elected Crawford County District Attorney, serving for three years. Judge Henderson was present at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. on an April night in 1865 and witnessed the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln by John Wilkes Booth. Judge Henderson served one term but lost his re-election bid to his former law clerk, Frank J. Thomas, by 90 votes in 1897. He returned to private practice and in early 1903 was appointed by the governor to fill a vacancy on the Superior Court of Pennsylvania. He was subsequently elected to three consecutive 10-year terms on that court and died in office in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in December of 1928 at age 85. President Judge Frank J. Thomas was born in Woodcock Township, Crawford County, Pennsylvania in 1859. He attended grade school and high school in Cambridge Springs, Pennsylvania and taught school in Woodcock Borough in Sagertown for three years. He graduated from Allegheny College in 1885 and began learning the law as a law student in the office of John J. Henderson. He was admitted to the bar in 1889. However, instead of practicing law, he returned to the teaching profession and accepted a position as a principal in a school in Tuscola, Illinois. He then returned to Meadville and in 1893 ran for district attorney but was defeated. At the time he was elected president judge, he was 38 years of age and at that time was the youngest elected judge in Crawford County history. 
Early in his career on the bench, Judge Thomas presided over a murder trial of Daniel J. Kehoe, who was also known as Frank Major, who had allegedly murdered the Titusville police chief. Ultimately, Kehoe was convicted of the murder and Judge Thomas sentenced him to death by hanging. In April of 1901, he was hung in the Crawford County Jail, the last person to be executed within that facility. Judge Thomas returned to the practice of law after 10 years as a judge, refusing to seek a second term, and he died in 1934. President Judge Thomas Jefferson Prather was born in Troy Township in Crawford County on November 28, 1866, the son of John M. and Sarah Strawbridge Prather. He grew up on the family farm and his early education was in the rural schools in Troy Township. He graduated from Edinburgh State Normal School in 1890, and during and after his graduation, he taught school for five years. He entered Allegheny College in the fall of 1892, spending two years advancing his education. After losing a race for district attorney in 1899 by just five votes, Judge Prather, a Democrat, was successful in the 1907 judicial election, beating the Republican candidate by 720 votes and thus becoming president judge. After serving his first 10-year term, he was re-elected in 1917 under a new law that had been enacted in 1913, creating a nonpartisan judicial election which allowed any candidate to run in the primary election without party designation. The law provided that if one candidate received more than 50% of the total votes cast for all judicial candidates, that candidate would be the only one listed in the November election. Judge Prather did so and thus became the first judge to be re-elected in Crawford County history. He ran again in 1927 and was defeated by Judge Eau Claire Kent. He then moved to Pittsburgh to practice law before returning to Meadville and ultimately spending his last years in his cottage home on Woodcock Creek until his death in 1949 at age 82. During his early years in office, Judge Prather was reportedly liberal in granting liquor licenses in the county, which caused him to be characterized under the terms used at the time as wet. And later, he refused to issue or renew licenses, rendering the county dry, leading up to the nationwide prohibition. When he ran for a third term, his characterization as wet stayed with him. In addition to a three-to-one Republican majority registration being against him, and in spite of the fact he had the endorsement of the politically potent County Prohibition Party, the public endorsement of the Crawford County Women's Christian Temperance Union, many prominent ministers in the Tribune Republican and Titusville Herald newspapers, he lost his bid for a third term by about 2,400 votes. Of Judge Prather's eight children, two of his sons, Gerald D. Prather and Frank D. Prather, were longtime practicing attorneys in Crawford County. When Orville Claire Kent defeated Judge Thomas J. Prather in his bid for a third term in the general election of 1927, he became president judge. Judge Kent was born in Espyville, Pennsylvania in 1876 and attended North Shenango Township Schools and Linesville High School prior to entering Allegheny College where he graduated in 1896. He never attended law school, but in accordance with the practice of the times, he read law in the office of a local attorney and was admitted to practice in 1900. He was elected district attorney in 1905 and again in 1908. After his first term as judge, he was reelected to a second term, and at the beginning of that term inaugurated the practice of judges wearing robes on the bench in Crawford County. He did not seek nomination for a third term, and after retiring from the bench, he became associated in the practice of law with his two sons in Meadville. Judge Kent died in 1957 at age 81. President Judge Herbert Arthur Mook was born in Sagertown, Pennsylvania in 1908. He graduated from Sagertown High School and Allegheny College with honors. He graduated from the University of Pennsylvania School of Law and was admitted to practice in Crawford County in 1932. In 1935, he was elected district attorney and served eight years. He was first elected judge in 1947 and re-elected in 1957. He was known as possessing extreme patience and kindness, and his opinions were well written. He specifically had intense interest in juvenile court work, serving as chairman of the Pennsylvania Council of Juvenile Court Judges. 
During his second term, the legislature recognized that the workload in the 30th Judicial District had become too burdensome for one judge, and they passed a law creating an additional judgeship for Crawford County. Just eight months after the new position had been filled, Judge Mulk passed away at age 55. The new judicial position in the 30th Judicial District was filled by appointment of Paul Richard Thomas on January 6, 1964. He was the first judge of the 30th Judicial District to not automatically become president judge as the sole judge in the county. Judge P. Richard Thomas, as he was more commonly known, was born in 1920 in Meadville, Pennsylvania. He was the grandson of former President Judge Frank J. Thomas. Judge Thomas attended Meadville schools and graduated from Cornell University in the Dickinson School of Law. He began practicing in Meadville with his father in 1948 and ultimately served as district attorney from 1955 until the time of, of his appointment as judge in January of 1964. Upon the death of Judge Herbert A. Mook on September 4, 1964, Judge Thomas became president judge. He was elected to a 10-year term in 1965, retained for another 10-year term in 1975, and retained for a third 10-year term in 1985. He retired on August 11, 1990, at the then mandatory retirement age of 70, having served a record 26 years, 7 months, and 5 days on the Crawford County bench. He went on to serve an additional 10 years as a senior judge until retiring at age 80. Judge Thomas was always involved not only in legal related capacity on a local and statewide level, but also in various capacities in the community. He was an avid and excellent golfer. He passed away in 2011 at age 91. Upon the death of President Judge Herbert A. Mook, the vacancy on the bench was filled by Judge Robert L. Walker, who began serving on December 16, 1964. Judge Walker was born in Linesville, Pennsylvania in 1924 and attended Linesville schools. He graduated from Dickinson School of Law and practiced law in Meadville until his appointment as judge. In 1965, Judge Walker was part of a three-way contest to fill two judicial seats and ultimately Judge P. Richard Thomas and Judge F. Joseph Thomas, who were unrelated to one another, were elected and Judge Walker's first service as a judge in the 30th Judicial District ended. However, when a vacancy occurred upon the retirement of Judge F. Joseph Thomas, who retired at age 70, Judge Walker was appointed to fill that vacancy and thereafter elected to a 10-year term. He chose not to seek re-election, but instead to take senior judge status. He served as a senior judge from January of 1990 until his death at age 69 in October of 1993. Judge Walker was known for his wit and brilliant legal mind. Judge F. Joseph Thomas was born in 1908 in Meadville, Pennsylvania. He attended Meadville schools, graduated from Allegheny College, and received a law degree from the University of Pennsylvania. He was admitted to the Crawford County Bar Association in 1932, and with the exception of military service, engaged continuously in the general practice of law, with special emphasis on the trial of cases of every type, until his election as judge in November of 1965 with his 10-year term beginning in January of 1966. He was retained for a second term in 1975 and reached the then mandatory retirement age of 70, becoming a senior judge in mid-1979 until his death just one year later in 1980 at age 72. Judge Thomas served in many professional capacities as well as in community activities with distinction. He was known as a legal scholar throughout his career. When Judge P. Richard Thomas and Judge F. Joseph Thomas were elected at the same time in November of 1965, it was unclear in the law as to whether Judge P. Richard Thomas automatically became president judge because of the time he had served through an appointment. The judges filed a friendly lawsuit requesting guidance from the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, and ultimately it was determined in an opinion from that court that only the elected time would be considered in determining who was president judge. Since they, both judges were elected at the same time, the position would be filled by the drawing of a lot. 
Judge P. Richard Thomas told a story that ultimately, after that Supreme Court decision, one afternoon after court sessions were done, the two Judge Thomases went to Judge P. Richard Thomas's chambers with a tip staff who tossed a coin, and as a result of that coin toss, Judge P. Richard Thomas became president judge. President Judge Gordon R. Miller was born in 1941 in Meadville, Pennsylvania. After attending Meadville schools, he graduated from Allegheny College and from Case Western Reserve School of Law in 1966. He was admitted to both the Ohio Bar and the Pennsylvania Bar and practiced throughout his career in many capacities, including as an assistant district attorney, solicitor for the Crawford Central School District for over 20 years, and as a well-respected civil trial lawyer. When Judge P. Richard Thomas reached 70 years of age, approximately eight months into Judge Miller's first term, Judge Miller became president judge in August of 1990. Judge Miller was known for his brilliant legal mind and after being retained for a second term, served until July of 2009 when he retired. At the time of this presentation, Crawford County has three active judges. As I've indicated, I am president judge and my name is Anthony J. Vardaro. I began service to fill the term vacated by Judge P. Richard Thomas when he reached age 70 and I was elected in November of 1991 to begin service in January of 1992. I grew up in Meadville and graduated from Allegheny College and the University of Pittsburgh School of Law. I served as a part-time assistant public defender and as Crawford County solicitor, as well as maintaining a private law practice before being elected to the bench. I was retained for an additional 10-year term in November of 2001 and again in November of 2011. I became president judge in July of 2009 upon the retirement of Judge Miller. Because of an increased population and workload in Crawford County, a third judgeship was created and in November of 2001, Judge John F. Spatero was elected to fill that position and began his service in January of 2002. He was retained for a second term in November of 2011. Judge Spatero is a native of central Pennsylvania and has a bachelor's degree and master's degree from Edinburgh State College, now Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania, as well as a law degree from Ohio Northern University School of Law. In addition to a private practice, he served as an assistant district attorney and as Crawford County solicitor. Upon the retirement of Judge Miller, Judge Mark D. Stevens was appointed to fill his position and began serving in September of 2009. He was elected to a full term in the election of 2009 and began a 10-year term as an elected judge in January of 2010. Judge Stevens is a Meadville native and has a bachelor's degree from St. Bonaventure University and a law degree from Duquesne University School of Law. In addition to a private practice, he served as Crawford County Solicitor before beginning his judicial service. That completes our program, bringing current the history of the judges to date. I hope that you've enjoyed learning more about judges throughout the history of Crawford County based on the hard work of Judge P. Richard Thomas in assembling all that historical data. It is our hope that in the future this video will be available to not only members of the public but to students and anyone else interested in learning more about the history of the judges of the Court of Common Pleas of Crawford County.